that's Tui from uh, Mueller Projects. Um, just wanted to start a bit of a new home series, just some wee projects I do around home. I've sort of done the odd one um, lately, but sort of just wanted to do a bit more um, over summer. Got a few little things I want to get done around the home. Um, I just want to say a big thank you to everyone who's sort of been watching. Um, there's been, I think we hit, nearly hit 35,000 views. Um, so yeah, thanks to everyone. Um, thanks to all the subscribers too. I think we're sitting about 40 something subscribers. So yeah, thank you very much everyone. Um, I know there hasn't been a video out for quite a while. Just been really busy with work etc and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, I do want to try and get a few more videos out. Just been really focusing on work and just trying to do some of those wee short videos. Um, that's sort of what I seem to have the time to do at the moment. So your work and family doesn't give me a lot of free time. Um, so yeah, if anyone has some certain types of videos I want to try and get done, um, I'll definitely try and do those. Um, we'll put them on my list of things to do. So yeah, just want to do a few little projects of how how some people can do them. So yeah, today I'm just going to step through how to make a wee planter box. So yeah, hopefully um, you enjoy it. Um, this is actually a uh, subscriber actually queried me about this a while ago. So I'm just going to step through a couple of ways that I sort of make some easy planter boxes and yeah, something that can be done with off cuts, these all sort of off cuts and left over bits and jobs. So what I'm sort of just making here is I've just got some bits of um, decking, these all off cuts of a job. So I've just basically made these 402, just put them on some bits of um, H3 timber, could be anything sort of off cuts. These are just short bits. So I'm just making sort of wee square planter boxes. So I'm basically making two of these. So it's basically putting two screws in each one. And then I've sort of set this width. So I had some off cuts off some palings that I'm going to use as the baseboard. Just got my wee apprentice helping me. So basically he's he's helped me put, put all the screws in, so yeah, it's pretty cool. So yeah, I've, I'll steer back to what I was saying. So I've basically got two boards I'm using gonna use as the base board. And that's sort of dictated how wide I'm gonna make this. So just a real easy way to sort of mark all these screw holes, similar to when you sort of do decking. Um, decking I think you sort of only come in 15, but these is just 20 in, 20 in, 20 in, 20 in. So using a speed square to measure 20 in, and then 20, 70, do the same on the other side, just to make it nice and simple. So the next step I do, I just sort of make sure this board is starting off nice and square with this one. And then, because we're going through Quila, which is a hardwood, just using a countersink with a pre-drill piece as well. So what this does is it drills a pilot hole and a nice big countersink bit. Go. So when you're doing your next screw holes, it's quite easy as you're just coming in 20, up 20 and you're just lining them up with your screws above. So to cut on my bits um, of decking, I use a drop saw, obviously with a stop guide so I can get all my cuts exactly the same size. Um, but if you haven't got a drop saw, you can easily do it with a skill saw, you just want your measurements to be accurate. So the next thing when you start assembling the sides of it, so basically I've made these, these the same size as these ones. So, I don't know if it's easy to tell here, but so these screws line up sort of in here. So these were 20 mil in, so I've made these 15 mil in and 15 mil in, just so that when you're screwing them together, because the screws almost um, intersect each other on the corner, so the screws don't hit each other because I'm using stainless screws. Stainless, if they if you bind against the other screw and jam, they'll easily snap off. So I'm basically going to do this side and then the other side. So when it comes to putting these base bits in, I always leave some gaps around them um, for drainage. And I'm just going to give it a quick light sand, and then basically this planter box is all done. Basically that's a nice, simple, easy planter box, um, 400 by 400, 
Um, you could obviously dress this up if you wanted to by putting a bit of a capping on top. So you just sort of have a bit of capping all the way around like that. Um, but I find these sort of go a nice um, grey colour. And yeah, they, they look quite smart. So this is an example of one I've pretty made from about eight, eight or nine years ago. So yeah, they just go a nice, nice ash grey colour. Obviously, if you want it to stay a quila colour, you just uh, have to put a quila stain on it. But yeah, I put like the way they look like this.